Let's take a look at math, grade four, module three, lesson 12, multi-digit multiplication and division, topic D, multiplication word problems. Problem one, the table shows the cost of party favors. Each party guest receives a bag with one balloon, one lollipop, and one bracelet. What is the total cost for nine guests? Okay. So in this party bag, there's one balloon, one lollipop, and one bracelet. One balloon costs 26 cents. So I'm going to represent that with a tape diagram. So this rectangle represents the cost of one balloon. The bag also has one lollipop. One lollipop is 14 cents. So I'm going to represent that one with this rectangle. And then the bag also has one bracelet, which the cost of that is 33 cents. So I'll represent that. Now this is the total cost of the party bag. The entire thing together is the cost of one bag. So in order to figure out what the total cost is, we need to add up all of these individual costs to find what the whole is. So what we'll do is We'll add up the ones first. So 6 and 4 is 10, plus 3 more is 13. And then 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 3 is 6, plus that one makes 7. So the total cost of each bag is 73 cents. But it needs to know what is the total cost for 9 guests. So that means that I have this rectangle right here, this tape diagram, and the whole thing is 73. But for 9 guests, I would actually have to have 9 individual rectangles. Now each of those rectangles is worth 73 cents. So in order to determine what the cost for the 9 guests is, I would need to multiply 73 nine times. So we're going to use the area model to help us solve that. I'm going to put 9 here on the short side of my area model because I have 9 rows, you can say. And in each row, I have 73 cents. So I'm going to take 73 and I'm going to separate it into tens and ones. So I'll have 70 and 3. I'm going to draw a line here to show that this part of the rectangle is going to be 9 times 70 or 9 times 7 tens. Now if I say 9 times 7 tens, well I know that 9 times 7 is 63, so 9 times 7 tens would be 63 tens. I can also state 63 tens as 630. And then 9 times 3 ones is going to be 27 ones, which I can state 27 ones just like this, 27. Now I'm going to need to add those things together. And when I do, 0 plus 7 is 7, 3 plus 2 is 5, 6 plus 0 is 6, I have 657 cents. So what is the total cost for non guests? 657 cents or $6.57. Alright, for our next problem, we have Jaden has 347 marbles. Elvis has four times as many as Jaden. Presley has 799 fewer than Elvis. 
how many marbles does Presley have? So in order to figure out how many marbles Presley has, we're going to use the information we know about Jaden and, El and Elvis. So if we'll start with Jaden. What I know about Jaden is that he has 347 marbles. So I'm going to represent Jaden's portion of marbles with a tape diagram. This tape diagram represents 347 marbles that belong to Jaden. Now, Elvis has four times as many as Jaden. So what I'll need is I'll need four rectangles to represent Elvis. But each of these rectangles needs to be the same size as Jaden's. So you see that one is the same size, and that one, and that one, and that one. So this is Elvis. So you can kind of see how, well, this one would be 347, and this one would be, because it's four times as many. So Elvis is going to need four sets of 347. So this would represent Elvis. Now let's talk about what Presley has. Presley has 799 fewer than Elvis. So if you start with this amount for Presley, which we're going to do with a rectangle that's like the same size. So we say, okay, this is what Presley has. But he has 799 fewer than Elvis. So I'm going to kind of take some away. I'm going to put this over to show that I'm taking away 799. So whatever Presley has, it is this amount with 799 taken away from it. Okay, so in order for us to figure this out, we're going to have to know how much Elvis has. We have 347 four times, which means we have 347 times 4. Okay, so 347 times 4, we will multiply 4 times 7 is 28. So I'm going to put my 2 here and put my 8 here because I'm representing two tens. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 2 more is 18. So I'll put the 8 there, and I'll put the 1 there. And then 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 more is 13. So Elvis has 1,388 marbles. <laughs> so now what we need to do is say, okay, Presley has... 1,388 minus 799. So let's go ahead and subtract that. What I'm going to do, since this doesn't look very friendly to subtract, I would have to, you know, do a lot of regrouping and bundling and unbundling. What I'm going to do instead is something called compensation. I'm going to add one to 1,388, and I'm going to add 1 to 799. When I do that, instead of these two numbers, I have this, 1,389 minus 800. This is a lot easier to subtract, and I will get the same answer. So let's go ahead and subtract. 9 minus 0 is 9. 8 minus 0 is 8. And 13 minus 8 is 5. So, to answer the question, how many marbles does Presley have? We can see that Presley has 589 marbles. Now let's try this one. Write an equation that would allow someone to find the value of r. Well, r is this rectangle right here. So, 
r plus 239 would be the same as all of this. And all of this is 3 times 4,167. So we could say that r plus 239 is equal to 3 times 4,167. We also might phrase it this way. 4,167 times 3 is equal to r plus 239. Now it says write your own word problem to correspond to this tape diagram and then solve it. Now when it asks you to do something like this, it, you have to use your imagination, but they really want to make sure that you can look at this tape diagram and recognize what kind of a story would fit it. So I'm making this up. We're going to say that Drew Brees threw for 4,167 yards in three seasons. So in one season he threw for 4,167 4, yards. In another season he did, and in another season. So for three seasons, that's the amount of yards he threw for. Aaron Rodgers threw for 239 fewer yards over the same three seasons. So whatever Drew Brees threw for, which is 4,167 times 3, Aaron Rodgers threw for 239 fewer yards over the same three seasons. So our question would be, how many yards did Aaron Rodgers throw for? So this is a two-step problem. First, I will need to multiply 4,167 times 3. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Three times seven is 21. So I'll put my two here and my one there. Three times six is 18, plus two more is 20. So a zero here and a two there. Three times one is three, plus two more is five. And three times four is 12. So the total that Drew Brees threw for was 1,000, I mean 12,501. So Aaron Rodgers threw for 239 less than that amount. So I'm going to go ahead and solve that one now. Now with this one we're going to have to regroup. So this 500 here, I'm going to take one of those hundreds and I'm going to unbundle them. And I will have 10 here, but I'm going to unbundle that one and leave me with 9. And then I'll come over and I'll have 11 ones. I'll take the 9 from there and that would leave me with 2. And then 9 minus 3 is 6. 4 minus 2 is 2. And then 2 minus 0 is 2. And 1 minus 0 is 1. So Aaron Rodgers would have thrown 4 12,262 yards. Alright, that's going to do it for um, Lesson 12 from Topic D. And as usual, you can always get more resources at lpssonline.com. Hover over Parent Command Center. Scroll down to Math Resources. Click on Grade 4. We're on Module 3 topic D so you'd click there and you can get a newsletter that will define vocabulary and help explain some of the math that's in this topic.